Hello and welcome to another episode of my let's play of the dungeon of Nahelbuck. As you might have heard, I'm trying to get the schedule for releasing new videos a bit more organized, so I've decided to make Monday against the Moon Day, Thursday Curse Day, where I release a new video on Curse of the Dead Gods, and Friday as far as the Eye Day. Today is Wednesday and it was a bit hard to find uh, some sort of uh, stupid pun or alliteration or rhyme or whatever for the dungeon of Nahelbuck. <laughs> but then I decided maybe I can go French because this game is from France and the whole Nahelbuck franchise is as well. So I think in the future I'm gonna release new Nahelbeck videos on uh, Sundays because then it can be Le Donjon Dimanche, which works I guess. So yeah, just so you know, you can prepare for new content on the Dungeon of Nahelbeck on Sundays. So yeah, um, that's all I wanted to, uh, wanted to tell you beforehand and I think now we're ready to continue our journey. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go into the backstage of the tavern and meet the wizards to get some intel. So let's get this going. <laughs> because in the last episode we kindly asked the shop owner for the wizard ropes and um, by that I mean we smacked a door in her face and uh, she was at least unconscious, if not severely hurt, and uh, yeah, we just took the ropes and now we are ready to enter the backstage of the tavern. Um, yeah, we're the good guys. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see if this works out. Welcome to this grossly expensive place of debauchery. I don't know, can we just enter? No, we can't. Ah. You there, no trespass. I am a powerful wizard. Behold my robes, you bumpkin. Uh, sorry, your highness, I thought you were someone else. Well, well, I mean, please come in. But as for those other dinguses... They are with me. It's my entourage. Well, if that's the case, then sure. We allow wizards' minions in if they don't cause any trouble. Wait, what? I'm not your minion. <laughs> you're gonna f*** this up. <laughs> What? Oh, never mind, he just uh, stepped on his own beard. That happens. All right, we are well, with the friend, elite now. It has been a pleasure. I'm expected at the tavern, but I'll gladly team up with you should our paths ever cross again. Oh, Yay. In his every word. Team up? Uh, sure, why not? Or we could step on his hat and piss on his head. <laughs> <laughs> or throw Molotov cocktails at him. Not like, uh... That purse is everywhere. They're even dressed like women. Let's sack this place. Unrestrained fool, <sighs> you'll get pulverized. There are powerful wizards in here. Cut the bullshit. We're for the statuette. And hey, who's the special snowflake coming there? Good day to you. I'm looking for soldiers of fortune with great skill in battle. Barbarian well, with uh, the toxic well, masculinity. Moment, but uh, maybe we could... I'm a priestess of Euclid, and I come from noble blood. Are you the leader of this heterogeneous and rustic company? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely heterogen... <laughs> leader might <my> bet. <clears throat> You're a priestess of the god of healing, is that right? Absolutely. Healers are for whips. Our foes should be the one with wounds, not us. Actually, I've yet to be ordained despite my respectable blood. Studies are a tiresome endeavor. To become a priestess, I was sent to triumph over a strange monster. A wraith wearing a hood haunting the halls of the dungeon. His form is that of a wretched thief. Oh, heck, the thief. The Gula Frendo. Who? The, the thief of our party. We've lost him. <laughs> All right, yeah. I still don't remember him. Assist me, and I shall deign to be a part of your band of rogues and ill-bred people. I've always had a soft spot for unshaven scoundrels. Men like you, in fact. 
Really? It just so happens that I, uh... No time for you to turn on the charm. The thief going missing uh, smells fishy. Well, she's making a bad impression on me. In that case, I like her. <laughs> anyway, we came here to ask around about a statuette. Oh, looking for some art pieces? Thanks to my noble roots, I have great knowledge of everything expensive. Men tend to cover me with costly gifts. We can talk about this later, huh? Yeah, okay, so we'll take you. With us, I mean. By the sandals of Navlu, that'd be perfect. Spending time with commoners is always so quaint. Let's deal with this evil beast. He's been spotted on the first floor, apparently. All right, let's first check if we can loot something here and if there's people to talk to. There is something to loot. Halfling broccoli. <laughs> Halflings are known for their vegetable gardens, which grow the best produce in all of the land of Fang. Incredibly rich in vitamins and trace elements. But, you know, still broccoli. <laughs> also cures the poison status. Uh, twisted Veil Delight. Blood sausage made from pork and lamb blood, seasoned with herbs. Chestnut and mushrooms. For the true connoisseur. Wine Waldorf Hills. Popular table wine can make any minstrel sing off key and raise any tavern wench charisma. It's alright, uh, which is a nice. Okay, I think we had this one before. I at least remember the last sentence. Alright, let's take it all. Um, more to loot. Albert, can we loot you? <laughs> uh, they really let everyone and their dog in this place. Yep. Good. Good that they do. Sorry, I'm to dust off the shower curtain. Uh, sorry, I have to beat carpets and dogs. Oh, polish wrinkle forks. Eh, all right. You, you do that, I guess. Berta. I'll have to outsource to the goblins with all this taxation. Cheaper workforce. Plebeians, they are looking at me. Help! <laughs> all right. Let's talk to these wizards. Hello, we'd like some information. Later, we're having an expanded restricted steering committee right now. We're preparing some unspeakable miracles. And last but not least, eating six cheese fondue. Come back when we're <laughs> digesting. All right, all right. Seems like we have to go on the, um, the priest quest first and find our missing thief friend. Um, there was someone selling something? Gisbert Fallgood. What do you have for me? Chat first. With the dungeon for dummies, get easy monies. Yeah, that sounds uh, like I can trust you. Right, Roach of Yol Shorath. Holy fat vial, old sheet and rusty nails, rabbit gem pendant. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all that. Um, like what it tells me. I don't think I want to buy that. Uh, huh. Awful shield of the beggar. Hmm. I can probably not equip this while um, while I'm holding a ranged weapon, right? Whoops, that's not where I equip anything anyway. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Ranger needs a specific, pa specific passive skill. Now I remember. Uh, I think we can sell the clay more though and probably the hammer. Ah, okay, and some level up. Uh, so first let's check. Uh, nope, we can sell this. We need to get the passive skill. Um, but what about the claymore? Yeah, the claymore we can sell. Okay. And the Savage Harness we can sell as well, and also the Headband, yeah. Um, tattered Wizard Ropes we can sell, and the Headband Don't probably too. Uh, no, wait, are you wearing something? Oh yes, you are, the Flower Crown. All right, so we can sell all this it seems so let's do that I suppose uh, sell equipment yep uh, yes yes 
Yes. And yes. Okay, now we've got 666 monies. I guess that's perfect. <laughs> that's definitely a lucky number. <laughs> um, especially when you're walking with the priestess. Okay, uh, let's see. First floor, they said. So, guess this is where we go next. Um, uh, we could also check if we can bash this door in. Uh, we might have checked last time, but I'm not sure. So let's just quickly go there. It's, uh, uh, well, let's see. Hmm. Wait, was that the door? I feel like we're going in circles. Nope, that was not the door. There it is, you can even see it on the mini-map. Oh yeah, I think we should be able to open this. Nice. Let's see what we find in here. Something to loot. Bottle of Laurelian shampoo, we know that. And the barbarians, two of three. Now we can start reading up on the whole story, I think. Studded belt, um, health points minus five. Ooh, that's uh, that's not good. <laughs> but at least we get some equi uh, like inventory slots, so hmm. we could still consider putting it on, but I'm not sure. Also raises physical impact. It's common common knowledge that anything can be improved by slapping some spikes on. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, let's take it all. Uh, check our inventory. So yeah, we have the whole set of the barbarians. Uh, sadly, I don't remember. So let's update the map. If we found the bookshelf for it, maybe this is it. Let's first check if there's more in here. I thought we had someone who could disarm traps. Yeah, we don't right now. <laughs> Crap. Oh, yes, there is more. Well, what do you want here? Basic spells for basic wizards. Okay, we don't have all of that. Seems like we'll have to sleep at the inn one more time. And I was right, we can go through here to get the chest. I'm not sure we should. It's not ours. <laughs> We got gold, we got armbands of fresh haggis, <laughs> used mainly to stuff sheep stomachs with onions, pluck and su suet, I, I don't know how that's pronounced. Also for pulling stomachs out of goblins when there's no sheep around. Okay. Minor health potion and short sword of turnip peeling. Those swords have a terrifying reputation to the turnip man of the Tweedly D lands. Okay. Um... So, equipment for the ogre and the elf. Let's check. Um, current equipment. Yeah, this definitely looks better in basically every aspect. So, here we go. Um, and the ogre gets armbands of fresh haggis. Protection 1, physical resistance 3. Sounds great. Nice, nice. All right, um, before we forget, let's level up uh, the priestess. Uh, intellig intelligence raises the precision of charisma based character, which is equal to charisma plus three times intelligence. Raises magical resistance, which is equal to courage plus intelligence. Okay, and charisma. Minstrel and priestesses per, per precision impact plus one per charisma point over ten. Spiritual impact is a bonus to damage or healing, raises the amount of support you can benefit from when attacking. Um, so intelligence is like better for precision and uh, charisma is well required for damage maybe let's focus on intelligence first let's put three in intelligence and one in charisma maybe yes that will be all right and we don't have any skills so that makes things easier we don't have to think about what to pick for now 
All right, so let's open this up. Okay. I don't think uh, there was anything else here. I wonder if the trap could be activated the second time. Uh, even if it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's close this and... Yeah, okay, it doesn't activate another time. That's good. Um, I wish it would tell us on the... Um, on the map which bookshelf is which, but... I guess it doesn't matter right now. Oh, I didn't go through here. Okay, let me do that and then start our quest. Wait, where do I have to go? Uh, not this way. This way. Yeah, can't go through here yet. All right. Um, I guess then it's sleep another time at the tavern time. And then we can also first sell the stuff. Uh, uh, sell. Mm, the lame ass short sword. Yes. And, um, okay, we didn't replace anything else. The ogre didn't have any equipment. All right. Um, Let's rest, so we're at full health, and find the thief. Oh, what a pretty drawing. What is it? Yep, that's the right way. Um, Round floor one. Okay. merchant down here and some doors we didn't check yet. I think that one was a wooden door so we should be able to open this. Um, first let's check in with the merchant if they have anything useful. The farm magician I guess it's mostly potions and stuff right? Uh, yeah no equipment. Uh, we are fine. <laughs> I, I really hope we will be fine. Well, let's update the map. Uh, okay, so right now we are heading directly for a door, but it might be a stone one. Yeah, I don't think we can smash that yet. Nope, we can't. That means there's only... Uh, yeah, just basically straight through. Um, well, if yeah, you yeah, pick a path ahead. that works, it's basically straight through. I didn't though. Game show room. Um, yeah, now we should be on the right path. Shit. Nah. Well, having the thief would be useful right now. <laughs> hey, Maybe we find don't some. Give yourself bud. <laughs> Let's hope we find something useful at least. 
Uh, yes, indeed. 45 gold coins. Bandana of charismatic leadership for the ranger. Dried pork rind bracelets. Ogres tend to design edible armor. <laughs> Some like ab ablative armor, but ogres tend to be they tend to get peckish very often. Okay, and some um, potions. That's nice. Okay. Crap! What a mess. Hmm. Is it basically what we already have? Well, that's amazing. Take the new one. And for the ogre, uh, here. Uh, protection zero, physical resistance three, so it's worse. Okay, great. At least we can sell it. I feel like we're going in circles. <sighs> we kinda are, but not quite. Yeah. Like a thief. Divine Lancet, there he is. Huh? You guys? I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> of course you do. You haven't changed. <laughs> you see that? You look like someone we've met. Yes, but who? I don't know. The elf, maybe? No way. I've got way better hair. <laughs> what about the ogre? The Colossus Barloff. I think it was the thief. Our thief. Well, then let's track him down, my lowly companions. Will do. Well, this is a nice area. I bet he'll lead us through a load of traps. Or not. By the holy stitches, it's him! Let's destroy him! Leave me alone, would you? You ignored me when I was alive, and now you won't quit following me! Stop it! <laughs> Traps! Missed him again. Damn it! I'm sick of running around in the underbrush! No kidding! How can you have such tiny legs? Mines have low ceilings, you douchebaguette! That's not logical. If the ceiling's low, shouldn't you have a shorter head? <laughs> or maybe it's the floor that's too high? Yeah, I think you should keep a safe distance from logic. She should keep her distance from us, too. Right. Okay, not from this side, I guess. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, some gnomes. <laughs> Can we destroy them? Why are you looking in this direction? Is there something hidden here? Hmm, guess not. At least nothing I can activate right now. Okay, I uh, guess we can only follow the evil thief right now. There he is. Look, there's that ghastly character again. Drat is toast. Let's break all his shin bones, even the ones in his arms. To think that you didn't even lift a finger when I was burnt to ashes. Mouth to mouth on a pile of ash. <laughs> Not so easy. We could have swept him under a rug. Much tidier. <laughs> even I'm not that mean. It's just basic hygiene. I'll make you regret these slights. Yes, it was mean. Not at all. I'm just saying it's better to sweep the floor. Are you still ignoring <laughs> me? I hate you. You're paying for this. What are you gonna do? Attack us with a butter knife. Yum yum um, he says he likes butter. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> You've just stepped into the deadly trap I've devised to enact my vengeance. I've lured you this far to bring you down and feast on your entrails. Come to me, Shadow Warriors! Well, that was to be expected. Uh, vanquish the evil thief to make his allies disappear. Beware the floor traps. Oh. Mutant rats and dark argiope. 
Uh, there are two kinds of mutant rats, the clever ones and the others. The first ones spend their nights plotting for world domination, while the others are just kind of drooling everywhere. Hmm. I've heard of those mutant rats. <laughs> uh, Dark Argiope. According to the monster manual, these spiders are known for their ability to immobilize their target from some distance before injecting the horrible venom contained by their abdomen. Sounds lovely. Ruined skeleton. If a skeleton is a little too damaged, you can still repair it with the bones of different creatures. This can give surprising results, like a skeleton with five tibias. Okay, and the evil thief. This poor soul seems hell-bent on getting some kind of revenge on you, but you can't seem to figure out why. <laughs> so, how do we do this? Do we just go straight for the thief to get rid of the other ones, or... I mean, he is kind of far away, so that's not ideal. Yeah. Okay, well, we can first place our characters, I think. Um, Yeah, maybe you're good here, actually. The ogre should be more in the front. Uh, you can be in the back. Or you can be here and shoot your arrow from here. Yeah, that should work. Maybe you can even shoot that rat over there. Um, not sure about you yet. our deaths. Probably be fine here. Eh, I suppose this might work. Let's see. Now you can't ignore me. No, what's this? Hey, Can you check this one? The enemy is stealthy. Stealth is a, uh, is a skill specific to the thief, but some enemies can also use it. it. Makes the user disappear. Poof. Afterwards, the character is invisible until something reveals them again. There's a variety of ways a stealthy character can be revealed. By taking damage, stepping on a trap, being the target of a spell, or by being on the three tiles in front of an enemy. Confirmed. Okay. Uh, got it. Okay, who starts? The ranger. Hmm. Do we want the ranger to start? Uh, why not? Let's maybe take care of this rat over there. Yeah, whatever, let's do it. That's good. Good start. Okay, now the barbarian. You can go over to the spider. And hit it hard. Okay, Dwarf won't make it so far, sadly. Um, I wonder if it's because the Ogre is in the way. That might actually be the case. Let's delay. Okay, Ogre time. Uh, ogre can't make it very far either. Okay, whatever, you still go here and maybe use a defensive skill. Um... That's useful, I suppose. Okay, wizard death time. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go over here. And see... Uh, wizard's whirlwind. Um, yeah, sure. That sounds good. Maybe we even hit the thief if we do it like this, although I think the thief was here. But, well, we can get rid of the allies first. That's fine, too. That's good. Okay, what can... 
cute, and they smell like the dwarf. <laughs> what can you do? Cost to protection, a healing prayer to Euclid, which highly heals a target at range and raises their protection. Uh, Euclidean detox cure, a divine wind that cancels all status and alterations. Euclid's inner peace, a temporary possession by Euclid, which raises the target's protection and charisma. Okay, so you're just telling me there's nothing useful. All right, all right. <laughs> At least not for right now. But you have a ranged weapon, right? That's good. Um, so maybe you try to take care of the rat. Maybe it will be enough. And if so, we can use the L for something else. Great. Well played. Look out! Rats love books. Let's hope it's enough. Yes, it is. Critical hit. <laughs> Didn't look like it was gonna be enough, but yeah, this is cool. <laughs> it's funny how the barbarian was uh, ranting about um, people getting hurt. I think the barbarian is the one who gets hurt most of the time. <laughs> uh, critical failure. Well, that's nice. Attention. Sprint. All right. Uh, what's this one? Rune Skeleton Archer, okay. Um, hmm. Dwarf had a delayed turn, but can't really do much from here. Oh, well, can attack the spider now, I think. Okay, that works for me. Um, can we do it on the spider here? That's cool. Nice. My vengeance awaits. Knocked over spider, and there's the thief, and the thief is uh, mean. Hmm, that's not good. Well, crap. <laughs> um, there's a trap there. That's also not good. Um, guess we go here and shoot that spider. That's with the barbarian. Uh, could have also used this, but too late. And I guess that's the priestess's job. All right. Don't hit the barbarian, please. Uh, but hit the spider. Well, maybe you can do it. Nope, you can't. Okay. Mm. There's enough people Hello down here. Six of your legs. Sup. I don't need you guys. Okay. All right, so far. Now. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Let's get rid of the one that's not knocked over. Oh, damn. Your were covered with a little less grease. <laughs> eh. Okay. What were these? Heals all injuries and gives health point back to the health points back to the target. Adrenaline surge. Ah, additional turn. Right. Okay. I guess the yoga is done. Hmm. Let's try it. 
Nice. One less. And I guess that was the wizardess's round. And now you can heal someone. Um... Nice. And maybe move over here or over here. I guess over here makes more sense. Probably. Okay, and now you can attack. That's nice. Um, <laughs> well, that's a uh, pretty high risk of collateral damage. Uh, maybe let's just do a regular attack. Uh, yeah. I feel not good. Oh, I chose the non-ranged attack accidentally. <laughs> more poison? Ah, no more poison, that's nice. Ouch! Yay, chickens! <laughs> Crap! Crap! You can't see me. What the hell? Why did the trap trigger? Uh, this is not good. Hmm. Uh, well, maybe go over here and then shoot the spider from there. Shit. It worked. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Actually, just a chicken. No, I'm not sure of anything. Now you can just stay here, I think. I don't know, probably. Although maybe it's better if you're closer to the chickens. We'll see. There's still a rat alive here. That's not nice. Uh, let's cure some wounds with... Although... No, we can't use this one now anyway. Okay, so let's cure wounds. Maybe they have a chance of survival then. Maybe. At least they in the dwarf is not burning anymore. <laughs> okay, priestess. Moving or done? I think done. Well, that was crappy. Hmm, okay, so the chickens are triggering the traps. range. Uh, 
Ah, okay. I'm sure you want to kiss the dwarf, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. Mm, I'm a bit afraid of this here. Wonder if something will explode. But if I move away, the chicken will attack me. I don't think that will be too problematic. I hate spiders. So... Maybe... No, don't go that way. If you go over there, go... This way. <laughs> yeah, not too horrible. Um... Okay, Skeleton Archer. Ha! Attack of Opportunity. Win the game. <laughs> okay, so the chickens are neutral. They attack everyone. Good to know. That spider is mean. Okay. Thief, where are you? Oh, damn. Rude. <sighs> Okay, you're pretty useless up there right now. Maybe just wait. Uh, delay the turn. Oh crap. Um, do you have anything? Oh yeah, you have. Um, maybe take the health potion first. I was thirsty. And Go over here, I think. <sighs> okay, dwarf. Um, <laughs> poor chicken. So I think we still have to somehow get away from here. Ah, okay, but if we don't sprint, we can't make it all the way. Because I think this will trigger the trap, right? Yeah, so let's get over here for now. All right, ogre time. Mm. I don't think we need that. Could also just go over here and then hit the thief. Or the spider, one of those. Yeah, maybe the spider first. The thief will take quite a while to defeat, so. Come on. Ah. Crap. Alright. Um. So can't heal right now. So I guess shooting enemies is kind of the best we can do. Let's shoot the spider. Euclid giveth, Euclid taketh away. Sorry. Oh damn. I didn't even see the wizard S and then the wizard S what was hit. Oh, crap. I should have used the health potion on her, but uh, yeah, well, that did not happen. Who <laughs> oh, no, More chickens! Oh, and the wizardess is getting more and more hurt. And the chicken is attacking the spider. Good job, chicken! But sadly, you didn't quite. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, I guess the chicken chickens are my allies. <laughs> Works for me. Um, all right, so you can go back. It's safe again. Um, could also go here and use that health potion on the wizard S. I guess that's uh, that makes sense, right? Yeah, I think so. Someone has to do it before she's completely out of action. Ugh, ugh. Reminds me of potions class and that awful teacher with the greasy hair. 
Okay, with Ardessa's turn. Uh, sadly, well, maybe the slap makes sense. Kind of. Uh, or we use the whirlwind here, but nah, I actually like the chickens for now. So, uh, whatever, let's slap you, then you might get an attack of opportunity from the ogre. Physical resistance, rude. here right but then just to heal blocking that spot uh, uh, might still be a good choice we really have to heal um, the wizard death here I am tough it out Ooh. Oh. <laughs> someone's uh, got a lot of status effects to deal with That worked. This is too far away, but at least the thief can't ex escape then. Not sure if he could escape right now, but this is good, I think. Okay. Well, this deals more damage. Would this destroy this? I think I don't want this destroyed anyway, so let's hit. Nah. You even had so much support. Well, um, why can you still move? Oh, you were there all along. Okay, that makes sense then. You can heal someone again, that's nice. I think our friend the Barbarian might need some healing. Hmm, that was your turn. Oh no. Chicken. Chickens are attacking us. <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Hmm. Not great. Hmm. I think you need to use Wazar's Whirlwind after all, or attack the thief. Attack the thief. Yeah, we're getting there slowly, but we're getting there. Rude. Um, hmm. and no one can heal me. Okay, well then, I guess I just attack. Team building exercise achievement unlocked. Nice. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're done. Uh, okay, you can do another attack. Please hit. Yeah, all right. Do I still have to defeat the chickens? No, I don't. 
achievement unlocked. Sock. Sock. Whatever that means. <laughs> Gauntlets 900 plus. These mass produced gauntlets are an easy dungeon product. The fall leather is stamped with the phrase professional quality, which does not bode well. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, heal everyone, I guess. Not so many health potions. Whatever, let's uh, use some bandages, I guess. And heal everyone, really? Ah, we have so many health potions. Should be fine, theoretically. But if we can just go back, it would be a waste. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn, I said... Backed. I didn't even take the stuff, oh, did I? Despite your lowly roots, you've been very helpful. Kind of like my father's daughter. Okay. Ah, okay, still lying around there. That's good. Maybe, but she has healing spells. Really huge arguments. What a huge <laughs> argument! That's how those pigs refer to what's under our dresses. But I'm not wearing anything under my dress. Stay cool. Surrounded by ladies, they're naked under their clothes, but I'm cool. Well then, I'll leave you be. I'm off to get ordained now. Maybe we'll see each other again, my low-born friends. Ta-ta! <laughs> wow, she she gave me a kiss. I, I'm... Embarrassing. Yes, you are. Wait, wait, wait. What, what about the statuette? Uh, later, later. Okay. Okay, I still have the ropes, so let's go back to the VIP room. Once there, we can... Ah! Good gods! I am back! <laughs> hey, look who's back. Thank you, my friends. <laughs> you dealt with my evil double. The amulet. It is cursed for real. I picked it up to see if... He tried to steal my precious loot. Even if I don't really want it now. Let's talk <laughs> Fine. Anyway, doesn't anyone want to hear about what I've been through? Nah, I'm good. Uh, oh, astral energy seems to be concentrating around us. This, uh, this can't be good. Oh no, he says that the amulet has reappeared in his bag. This means that we've been cursed! Cursed! Krom hates curses. No, I don't want to be cursed. It'll burn my beard. Men have beards! Maybe, maybe. <laughs> more, sort of more dispel. toxic masculinity. <laughs> This pelt, or another, or even ten of them, can't do anything about this, my dear. What? Who's that? What the f Going around in circles, aren't you? Might these adventurers, in trying to square the circle, be circling down the drain? It is now my task to drain you! Get down here so we can crush your face! I'm sure the voice came from the amulet. There really is something cosmically wrong with this artifact. We need to look into that before carrying on with our quest. Here they go again. Nobody's listening to me. Could you stop it with the size? Try being helpful instead of whiny. Despite your amusing qualities, I can't let you have this amulet. My paladins of fail will take it back from your smoking corpses. <laughs> Who? Hey, I hope I don't have to fight again right away. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn it! Curse uh, Oh well, <laughs> that happened. Not good. <laughs> ah well, at least we bandaged and ah, actually it's just the ranger who's like really hurt and the wizard ass have health. I think we can make this, right? It's just three of them, I think. All right. Um. Maybe let's concentrate on two flanks. Mm, whatever, you can stay there actually. Mm, what about you? You can, I don't know, go here to sneak over then. Can also go here, I guess. And the wizard S maybe here. Oh no, and we don't have the main healer anymore. Well, the wizard S can still heal and we might have some potions lying around. <laughs> or with us, I mean. Uh, the elf is not really safe here. Really close to this warrior fail. Uh, the, the elf, I mean. I said wizard S, didn't I? Uh, well, let's go over here. Let's hope that I have the first turn. 
And I do, that's nice. Um, you can also use first aid on yourself, actually, can you? Nope, you can't. Oh, uh, well then. Heal the wizard ass. Be nice. Tough it out. Okay, and then... Oh no, this might explode, right? Ah, oh, crap. Then just stay here for now. Ouch! Well, crap. Um. Hmm. That was good. Come on, now you do something good and knock this one over, please. And boom, right away. Yeah, perfect. Good job, dwarf. And you're done for this round. And you, what do you do? Okay, you attack the barbarian. That's horrible. <laughs> At least if you do it like that, I mean. Okay, wizard ass, uh, it's time to heal this sucker. <laughs> okay, that, that's good. Maybe go over here. I think that's relatively safe, probably. Okay, can you reach us? You can't, that's nice. Okay, um, yeah, go over here attack I suppose or maybe you can do a sneaky strike on this one that would be cool mm, now let's not keep the, see the, the thief alone going over here seems reasonable I uh, can't do a sneaky strike from here I think nope so let's do a regular attack <coughs> all right anyone in Dire need of healing. The wish. Oh, yeah, probably, probably this one. Okay. Yeah, let's get over here. I think. Uh. Okay, let's attack. Nice. Mm. Okay, yeah, go over there and then do a strike from behind. Seems reasonable. Oh, I hope this trap doesn't activate anymore. <laughs> Guess we'll... Oh, that's wrong. At least not what I wanted to do. Good enough for now, I suppose. Um, yeah, the dwarf actually can stay here for now. Maybe look in this direction to not get backstabbed by this one. Ha! Right, I guess let's do this. Please don't miss. Ah, hate it. <laughs> okay, wizard ass, go over here, I suppose. Mm, yeah, why not? Might be enough. Mm -mm. Yeah, magic attack. No, not enough. Sad. Ah, the dwarf can take it. Yeah, that's alright. 
So now you can go over here and do a sneaky strike, actually. That's nice. Come on! Nope, still not talking to you. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you just attack from here and... Okay, still a very high chance to hit. Uh, I mean, 102%. That's good enough for me. And a critical hit. Not necessary, but nice. <laughs> Guess we can go over here. Well, maybe going this far is enough. Okay, yes, it does trigger. Well, crap, uh, that one's up again. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, maybe let's use it here. Uh, we can't do anything else if we walk after um, or if we walk first I guess okay now walk over here okay can you maybe finish this one I guess you can't whatever you should still attack not quite but this one is burning so that's something Mm. Yeah, moving away seems like not a good idea. So. That's what we're gonna do. And turn. Uh, yeah, ogre. Mm. Is this still a trap? I don't know. I don't care. Let's still go over there. <laughs> okay, wizard death. Uh. hurt okay this is as far as you can go without um, sprinting and maybe go this far and maybe use the slap or just a ranged attack just a ranged attack seems all right yeah that was good Rude. Okay, seems like we need to heal the thief and kill this one over here. Oh, this one is knocked down too. Horrible. But we'll be fine, I think. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, just go here. And. Uh, why can't you do a ranged attack on this one? Hmm. All right, then just melee attack, I guess. Ah, oh, burn to death, perfect. Okay, barbarian time. Hmm. Maybe go over here, then... There's more room. Nice. And um, maybe this. Damn. Okay, Ogre, it's your turn. Win this for us. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Ogre. All right, good that we didn't use those health potions. <laughs> the ranger leveled up. All right, uh, and we got more stuff. I really hope we can still pick this one up. Um, okay, claymore of butt kicking, picnic loincloth, 
A loincloth for ogres reinforced with a variety of rusty, sharp, disgusting objects. Bleed your enemy before devouring them. Huh. Um, considering not doing anything at all except take all this time. All right. No more battles, please. They were naked under their clothes, too. <laughs> First knights are spectral minions, slaves to some powerful wizards, or worse. Well, then why didn't we give him the amulet? If those evil beings want to take this cursed object from us, it must mean it's important. Uh, a hidden quest, perhaps? Hidden quests are with a lot of experience. <laughs> well, look Yo, here. Looks genocider. Like a fine mess again. Luckily, only bits of armor to clean up this time. Uh, sorry, it seems that everyone wants us dead. No need to get paranoid. <laughs> it's part of our job as adventurers. If I can't clean up faster than you splatter corpses around, Zandar well, there's also dead spiders and rats Zandar? and all that. The dungeon master, obviously. Oh, wait a minute. We were told this place was run by a co-op. Oh, right. And yet, <laughs> I have strange memories about this Zangdar. Well, I have work to do. All right, Dungeon too. Master first, Zangdar. Find out what we're gonna do about that cursed amulet. The plot thickens, so it seems. Ah, he says that you have to mix the gravy with flour to make it thicken. <laughs> oh come on! Please don't take me to the to the end automatically without having picked up the stuff. Uh. Third chapter, Tricks at the Tavern. Crap. For an adventurer, there are few places more important than a tavern. It's a good spot to recruit companions, find work, do business, or else weave plots and plan expeditions to distant lands with fabulous treasures. But most of the time, it's just somewhere to get totally shit-faced. <laughs> this situation might indeed smell stale to the player. You mean it smells ale? It's a tavern! <laughs> Still, we've learned many important things. Two of us were replaced by evil doubles. We can't get rid of this stinking amulet. An amulet that sparked the interest of evil beings. You gotta think about this. We won't get much further on the quest for the statuette if we keep dragging around this amulet with all these monsters on our ass. We've also learned that there's a janitor that works here, so it's important to keep this place clean. We should look <laughs> after ourselves and not leave trash lying around. Yeah. yeah let's toss you with the rest of the trash. I'm not the one reeking of sweat and ale, you walking ball of doo-doo. I'd rather smell like ale than pony shampoo. Oh, just shut What's up. What's wrong with pony shampoo? We should investigate this Zangdar guy the janitor was talking about. Maybe he's linked to the amulet. Look who's here. Huh. Hey, morons, I got your dough. Anyway, want to team up? Justice doesn't wait. Like my hammer. Oh, she gets it. And she brought us the booty. Precious companions, I would be delighted to offer my melodious assistance for the peregrinations ahead. I will sing of our feats in every nook and cranny of this land. La 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 la. He's elegant and he smells good. Go did it, aren't you stupid bimbo? He says he likes the minstrel. I'm surprised you'd mix with such sketchy characters. Nevertheless, if you still have an ounce of common sense, you should recruit a noble priestess to heal your wounds. Oh yeah, you could totally bandage our wounds. It's a very attractive skill. Sometimes my whole body gets sore and... Ugh, here he goes yeah. again. Well, I mean, this is no easy choice. We could recruit them all! Are you crazy? Our shares of the loot are small enough already. So? If the Admiral Companions, our individual proportions will get slashed by the moving average of the XP, acquired by the additional <laughs> purchase to make the treasurer's level. Is that clear? Uh, explain like I'm five. You divide the profits, and you multiply trouble. We could use another companion. This dungeon is way more difficult than we anticipated. Warning, this choice is permanent till the end of the game. Hmm. <sighs> more healing might be useful. But honestly, I think I just like the paladin as a character the most. <laughs> because, like, uh, she's badass. So I'm gonna pick the paladin. As group leader, I think the paladin is the righteous and courageous choice. Sheesh, sure took you guys long enough. Okay, let's get on with it. We got a lot of shit to deal with. She's kind of rude, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, we need to find someone who can identify the amulet for us. The wand wigglers in the VIP room are done with their grub. Let's ask them. 
Uh, achievement unlocked. Race Judicata. I guess that's because I picked the Paladin. Um, okay. Uh, seems like we are kinda done uh, for today's episode. So I'm not gonna start the next quest. So if you wanna leave now, that's fine. I'm gonna check if our stuff is still lying around. You, <laughs> you again? All right. Are we famous? Damn right. You read the dungeon of the evil dwarf. That ain't nothing. And the evil thief too. Oh, was there a guy like that? We didn't notice. This is so unfair. <laughs> Glad to see that you're still going strong. Say, I heard you take on small jobs. If the price is right. If there's a fight. Hold up. I got a small errand. I need to go to the basement to fetch a case of wine. Need some help drinking it? Nah, it's just that I'm busy right now and the basement's full of rats. No good. So I thought, if you happen to pass through the cellar, maybe you could bring a case back to me. I'll offer you a drink. Even <laughs> the better. typical I'll clear the, the wine box. cellar of rats quest. Come on, kill the rats, carry in wine. It's right up our alley. <laughs> you said basement, not an alley. Oh, good. Just kill me now. I mean, don't put yourselves out. Just in case, I'll lend you the key to the cellar. We'll see what we can do for you. All right. Uh, so yeah, what I was saying is I'm uh, maybe just going to check those bookcases and see if we can return the whole barbarian thing. And I'm going to check if uh, if there's still a way to pick up uh, those spoils we left lying around. Please. <laughs> if not, I think I'm just going to play this part again on my own and uh, have the stuff picked up uh, at the beginning of the next episode. Um, but yeah, for now I'm going to quickly run over there and check. I mean, it wasn't that far away, just outside and around the corner. So that shouldn't take too long. But yeah, um, as I've said, I'm not going to start another quest today. That's for the next episode. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do, oh, it's still lying around. That's great. At least something. <laughs> so yeah, we can still pick this up. Perfect. Uh, was there anything else? Can we loot something here? Is it even like maybe? Nope. Sad. That would have been cool if I just came back here to pick up the spoils and then realized, oh, there's even more for us to pick up. That would have been a nice coincidence, but sadly, no. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to level up my characters. I think the thief leveled up. Um, and equip them with the stuff that I found and um, not talk to the wizards yet. Just gonna read the books and maybe return them if I can find where they go. And then this episode will be over. So if you're in for the main story and um, uh, the main story and what was I gonna say? the fighting and the tactical combat and all that there's not going to be any more of that in this episode so feel free to leave already but also feel free to stick around if you're interested in reading some books with me and um yeah doing that stuff so there is a can talk to the prowler now hey look at that weird guy I'd say he and I are professionally analogous. And oh goodness, <laughs> it's a fancy talk for butt. Um, actually, you're probably thinking of... I'm no ranger. I'm a wanderer. Aren't those the same thing? Absolutely not. Wanderers are true adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> what a sick bird! Well, we're on an epic quest for Glalfura's statuette. We're not standing here smoking on a pipe like a smartass. I don't <laughs> have any intel on this subject matter. I must say, you have a strange way of mingling with strangers. Well, one should be strange with strangers, right? I don't have any intel on this subject matter. I must okay. say you have... Okay, more talk. You absolute dafty. I know you opened my chicken coop. You won't be surprised when the barn start fucking burning. Don't point your fat finger at me, you headless cock. You ain't got no fucking proof. No more than whining a cow's teats. You're the only bastard that could have opened the cages. What with being jealous of my hens, a whole brood of twisted fail blue barbizos. Those plucked scrawny pigeons ain't winning nothing, but most drook it rag with those. I will win the contest. I got me some Bulgarton wee silkies and glad golden dumpies. Ha! Shite birds with rather see dead in a life in such misery. Wait till I get me a chicken pack, you jobby crows breeder. Say that again. That's another side I'm going quest. To scalp your behind. 
Come on, calm down and tell us what's the matter. The matter is this lavy hide here. Lost me beautiful chickens, and I can run for the best crooked veils breeder. I think ye howling birds went and locked their own heads off. <laughs> the poor f I know my way around gathering chickens. Is there a reward? Obviously, you glag it. Get me chicken back, and which fairy will go no past you. I must warn you, if he gives you a chicken, boil it for three days at least. Or I don't ken what'll happen to your guts. Your bum's out the window. Ah, are you done already? <sighs> okay. Um, if you hear some background noise, um, as, uh, yeah, it happened before and it happened again. Uh, there's a cat snoring. <laughs> snoring in my room. Uh, hope that's not too noticeable. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we have checked this bookcase. We haven't checked this one, I guess, for the barbarian thing. Uh, poultry farming tournament. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, see. Gather the blue barbezos. Uh, if we come across them, we might actually do that. Uh, I guess there is one. Mm. Or we could wait with that for the next episode. <laughs> So, what was this bookshelf? Uh, Ogrish Cuisine. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. There's another one in the co-op. So, maybe let's go over there. Right turn and then just straight through. I catch him in the next episode. As I've said, I'm just gonna finish this up. But we can try to remember where we see them. <laughs> uh, more here. Also, more people to talk to. Let's Looks see. Like I got all the books of this collection. Hmm, barbarians. All right. Uh, just a second. Let me read them first. I haven't read them all, I know that. I think I might have read the first one. Um, so, let's read this one. Barbarians are fierce warrior, women and men alike. Clad in loincloths, boots and furs, they're tall, burly and not all that bright. They mostly hate magic, reading and books, but would use the letter as toilet paper. They value honor first and foremost. Yep, we have read that. Um, What's part two saying? We haven't read that, we just found it. Most clans consist of a leader and his elite lot of warriors who'd like to become a leader in the place of the leader. They all worship Krom, god of brawls, but they don't agree on what it means to worship him, leading to deadly conflicts. Alright, third part. As, as semi-nomadic people, barbarians usually live amongst their clan in precarious dwellings, tents, yurts, and even on the bare ground. They've been known to settle down for longer periods at times, but we are not sure why. Is it because of omens? An idle leader? Holes in their boots? No one knows. There's a thing one knows, though. There's a thing one knows, though. The sooner they're gone, the better. Okay. Right. Um. Let's put Looks these like books back in the shelf. Nice, Barbarian gets plus two strength. Perfect. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, so we have multiple like side you quests now, I guess. Butter, swing the pickaxe as hard as you can. Right, quests. Uh, yeah. We have the Battle of Chateau de Luzer, and we have um, Poultry Farming Tournament. All right, uh, so we're gonna look for all these chickens in the next episode, but for now, let's level up the remaining characters and sleep at the inn, and then maybe try to talk to all the people standing around. Although we can also do that when we're when we are hunting for the chickens in the next episode. So yeah, just gonna level up. Precision and dodge, impact. Uh, whatever, one in each seems fine. 
thief, uh, agility and strength, also impact and precision dodge, so basically same thing. Uh, I guess let's put 1-1-2 one, one, and strength and constitution, yeah sure, 1-1, one, one, why not? Confirm for the whole party. Oh, we also have skills, active and passive. So we have first aid uh, with um, curing knocked over and stunned or first aid keeling burning and poison. Uh, I mean, it's definitely a skill I use frequently. Uh, like I don't use these very often. Uh, first blood, a naive hopeful strike that does double damage on targets with full health. That's nice. Lube's Anticipation, a strategic analysis of the situation which improves movement for all nearby allies. Okay. Spending innumerable years running after chicken, the ranger has developed an unrivaled capacity to read and to anticipate movements. Sounds useful. Um, but it's an active skill, so I really have to activate it. First blood sounds nice, burning and poison, knocked over and stunned, definitely also really useful. And more heal, uh, yeah, since we didn't like pick a dedicated healer with the priestess, I think improving our heals might be really useful. So do we heal burning and poison or knocked over and stunned? Um, I think I'm gonna go for knocked over and stunned because, well, burning and poison, the characters could heal themselves, but helping someone up, I don't know if that even works. So yeah, um, sure, let's do this. A real leader needs real skills. Nice, and passive skills, uh, let's maybe check the non-team skills. Ranger of Good improves the ranger's standard melee attack. It stuns if the target has full health. That's cool. Ranger of Slight Evil <laughs> improves the ranger's standard ranged attack. It deals double damage if the target is below 25% health. That's nice to finish enemies. So start the battle or end the battle. <laughs> uh, and melee or ranged. This one's on the house, gains plus one attack of opportunity per turn. He can now perform two per turn, okay. Shield expert can now use shields and gains plus five parry. I was thinking about getting that. Mm, this is also super cool, stunning the target. Uh, let's get the shields first, I guess. This is way more useful than stuffing chairs. All right, what skills does the thief get? Caltrops, um, a ranged or melee attack that deals a small amount of damage and immobilizes your target. That can be really useful. Stealth, uh, the thief goes in stealth mode, attacking an enemy, walking in front of one or taking damage will force him out of stealth. Um, I think that's a pretty essential skill kind of for the thief. Um, the Caltrops were really cool too in that fight we just uh, experienced. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to use regular positioning and pick the Caltrops. I guess we really need to protect the thief for, um, yeah, like for the thief to be useful. So I guess let's get the stealth. Better safe than sorry. The thief can now wear heavy leather armor. That sounds good. A chance of disarming traps during combat and exploration. Uh, let's go New for skills. the armor. New dangers. And the dwarf um, girdles whirling wallop. Spin attack that hits every tile around the dwarf. Mm -hmm. 
Secret technique passed down from gen. Whoops, Whoops. didn't really pick want to pick that. Um, generation to generation in the Glumanville family. It uses the dwarf's lower center of gravity to perform a 360 degrees rotation. This is Tin Can, raises the dwarf's parry chance and grants him two additional attacks of opportunity. Two? Oh, but it's an active skill. Okay. Hmm. I like the roundhouse attack. I can rock your socks off. So yes, I will stick with it. The dwarf gains plus two max health points per level. This effect is retroactive. That's useful. Uh, plus three percent physical resistance and magical resistance, and five percent more gold for selling an item, and a five percent discount when buying an item. Um. I haven't found very good use for gold just yet, so I think I'm gonna go with this one because this seems pretty much essential because it will raise the health more and more. So yeah, I guess we're good with this. Let's, uh, yep, sign off on it. Perfect. All right, I'm good. Uh, let's talk to the servant. All very busy. To serve is to be in servitude, you know. What if I cut your feet off to make earrings? Got time for that? No need, my lord. I'm all ears. Good. Didn't we have We're that already? For one of Gladifura's statuettes. Ever heard about those? Uh, can't say it rings a bell. No, I'm not really into statuettes. Useless trinkets collecting dust on the shelves. There yeah, used to be a lot of those that. on the second floor. Really? Why is that? No one knows. At any rate, statuettes. Are... Minions punish. Crumb. Me. I should drop his feet off him. Yeah, we had that. Right, anything new with these here? It's scandalous. It's been two months since my last wait. I don't think so. Sorry, your residency forms are missing some information for payment. But I live here, God dang it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I must fill out a rectification request. Do you have your payslip for last month? I don't, on account of not getting paid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do without your latest payslip. Bureaucracy. <laughs> Ah, uh, great. Back to work it is then. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, there's something to loot. I missed that. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's uh, not a long name. 10 gold coins, law proposition for dungeon workforce retirement plans. This rack says that monsters working for the dungeon master should pay contributions longer. Uh, it also plans to force monsters who got some limbs cut off to keep working or face crippling debt. <laughs> okay, hello Mr. Cat. Um, and the secrets of chicken, two of four. Nice, let's take it all and check how much of the secret of chicken we got. Uh, only half of it so far, but we're getting there. All right. Um, Okay, so time to head back to ah, whatever. Let's pick up the, the chickens we can right now. <laughs> Don't really want to go back here to the training room. Let's check if there's another chicken in here, but I doubt it. Doesn't, doesn't seem so. Okay, yeah, we're gonna pick up this one chicken. Here, what are the chickens we have to gather? The chicken's a chicken. It's a crooked veil blue barbazoos. It's freaking obvious they're blue. So you are a foul expert. <laughs> Impressive. Now you see an ugly chicken. <laughs> Says he doesn't care about what color it is. The taste is the same. Yay! Got a new quest item. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the inn and heal, um, and this door is already open. Oh, now. What's the thief oh. Doing? okay, so it does reset the traps, but not right away. Got it. Uh, actually, this is not really the way. Mm. Eh, doesn't matter, let's take 
Let's take a 180 turn here. And um, can we already give back one of the chickens? Oh, did you find me chickens? The poor scunners. Working on it, a poultry investigation takes skill, you know. <laughs> Alright, no, we have to collect them all first. That's fine. Um, okay, hello, innkeeper. Please heal our party. Uh, whoa, it costs a hundred. I guess it's uh, depending on how hurt your characters are after all. Eh, well. Uh, uh, wait, before we do that, let's re-equip our characters. Picnic loincloth. Um, so, this would give the uh, ogre more impact. I guess that's better because I think the ogre is strong enough. <laughs> Disgusting loincloth. Yeah, let's stay with with this. Uh, dried pork rind bracelets. Nah, Gontex 900 plus. Wow, what what about that? Uh, Current equipment, 1-1. One, one. Ah, but this one is courage instead of impact. Uh, what's courage good for? I don't know. Excellent. Hmm. More impact or more courage? Since I don't know what courage does, I guess it doesn't matter. Um. Hmm. So now... We could put a shield on this one, could we? No, haven't got the shield skill just yet. Didn't we just select it? Thought we did. Skill tree, ranger, passive skill, shield experts. So why can't the ranger put the shield on? Oh, I guess can. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's my stuff. You already have a shield. That's nice. Um, yeah, you even have a better shield. So that's that's good, I guess. Um, we might have some daggers for you. 19 to 25. Uh, yeah, this one looks good. Okay, Stagger of Dicentery. Thanks. Is this it's yours now? For me, really? <laughs> yes. Okay, I think. Hmm, we have a buckle belt. Buckle belt is nice. Does someone not have a belt yet? You don't have one. So here you go. Now you do. Okay. Um, okay. I'm done now. <laughs> Let's rest and finish the episode. All right. Party is recovered. And um, with that, I guess uh, we are ready to end the episode and uh, well prepared for starting the side quests in the next episode and going back to the VIP room to talk to the wizards. And yeah, that's uh, what's gonna happen in the next episode. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and maybe also a comment down below in the comment section. If you didn't, um, leave a thumbs down and maybe also a comment and tell me what you didn't like so maybe I can improve. Also, you could consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification button so that you get notified when I release new episodes. But uh, yeah, the next episode of uh, Nahalbuck is going to come on uh, come out on Sunday if everything goes according to plan, that is. Um, I mean, sometime on Sunday, so maybe check back on Monday and then it should be there. Um, yeah, and I guess that's all. Um, Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again next time. Until then, take care. Bye.